Welcome to ET Auto. We have Mr. R.C. Bhargava, Chairman of Maruti Suzuki. He'll be putting light on all the upheavals that has been brought in after Nitin Gadkari's heavy statement on electric vehicle. Welcome to ET Auto, Mr. Thank Bhargava. You. It's always a pleasure talking to you. How do you read the strong language used by our uh, Union uh, Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari? He says that the days for diesel and petrol cars are going to be over. But do we not need a policy to scrap the vehicle before? Because until the vehicles are not scrapped, why people will go and buy you know, newer vehicle? Do you think it will give impetus to buying new electric vehicles? No, no, I don't think Mr. Gadkari is talking of replacing the existing vehicles. But what government policy is that all new vehicle sales hmm by 2030 should become electric. So to give impetus to the new vehicle uh, sales, we need to first uh, discard the existing vehicle. Then no, only we don't. I'll need. We don't because there's okay. a growing market for new vehicle sales every year. Okay. And today, even when vehicles, new vehicles are bought, they're not bought by scrapping the old vehicles. Hmm, but but uh, the, because 15 years, 16 years vehicle, there are more politics Very than few vehicles in India are ever scrapped yet. So do we need a scrappage policy or not before we, we need really a move policy to, to make sure that unfit vehicles do not remain on the roads. So that we need uh, at least before we really get into. Uh, don't you think that the government is directly talking about the target, but we are still away from devising the mechanism. How do we achieve the target of electric vehicle? How are I we going both, to get both the government and the industry? have to work out the mechanism of achieving this target of 100% electric vehicles in 2030. So how do you look at overall when we zoom out and see, look at the industry, how does it look like in the next uh, 10 years? Do you think there will be a, a dynamic change, the new players? There has will? to be, otherwise how do we implement this policy? Yeah. Okay. And looking at this, this uh, uh, we are talking about BS6 now. So an investment in BS6 for component maker, and then again, you know, uh, for electric vehicle. What kind of investment burden? There is a full at ten years between 2020 and 2030. So you think industry will be comfortable in reaching? Has that to level? do it. Okay, there has been a lot of uh, you know. We were very hopeful about GST. Maruti Suzuki also passed on the benefit that was offered after GST, and then again comes CES hike. How do you, though Maruti is not impacted much, but how do you look at this translating for the overall automobile sector? No, no, I think people are misinterpreting what's happening. First, we haven't got the rates yet. Mm. But what I have understood from what I have read, mm. and that's in the press basically, the CES is, is being that up the, to 25%. We are, the government's intention is to restore the total tax incidence on vehicles, all vehicles, mm. to what it was prior to GST. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at uh, what has happened, the change in the tax rates has not been uniform across all cars. Mm -hmm. So I think what uh, I've understood is that the intention of this policy is to restore that position, old position. But let's see what happens tomorrow. So um, the minister has said that we are going to revive FAME scheme. You know, how do you look at it? Uh, do you think because FAME scheme was really helping your one of the products and other companies were also lining up product in that uh, category. And now many have said that they are going to shelve. Sure. Are you hopeful that it is going to be revived, uh, the FAME See, scheme? FAME scheme is one way of uh, temporarily subsidizing mm -hmm. products. It cannot be a long-term scheme. And it's only to get uh, particular technology started. So when we talk about zero emission or electric vehicle, we do not have a single, you know, uh, component manufacturer. How the government can build? Uh, I'm sorry, that's not correct. But uh, a large uh, number of components of the cars today are common with an electric vehicle. He was just saying. Uh, no, the, the only the difference is zero the, emission thing. Yeah, zero. But electric cars are zero emission. So Mr. Ratan Kapoor was saying that there is not a single. Uh, a manufacturer who has the technology for zero emission in no, India. No, I don't think he's saying that at all. In his speech, he said today. No, no, okay. not. I think you misunderstood what he said okay. because uh, components are not emission. Okay. Uh, he's a component maker. So yeah. Components are not made for emission. 
No, no, component the com for the emissions vehicle. Emissions come from the vehicle. Mm. An electric vehicle, by definition, is zero emission. It's not burning any fossil fuel. So, but do you think it going electric will really help us be zero emission? Because the way we produce electricity is still not that clean method. The intention is to use uh, clean energy. And what uh, do we not ha ha need to have a policy for? You know what happens after uh, the battery is exhausted or used. The batteries are uh, what I've understood from the government people who are going to be recycled. Okay, recycled. And wh what about lithium? So how the lithium will be recovered from these batteries. And we will import lithium because we do not have much. Initially, of we'll have to import, of course. So that that we are importing the crude today. Instead of that, we'll have to import lithium for the batteries. Yeah, sure. So if you want to give out a message to the industry, if we have to get ready for electric all electric fleet by 2030, what the stakeholders need to do? right now? I think industry and government have to work together to see what will make this actually a reality. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, for talking. Thank you. Thank you.